Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and back with another video for the new Boston. Now in this tutorial we are going to go on from our previous tutorial where we installed XAMPP for Windows. Now now that we're at this stage where we've uh, installed the um, installed XAMPP, we've accessed localhost, we've tested that PHP MyAdmin works so we're, we've run our um, our MySQL databases for when we look at databases a lot later on and we've also um, brought to attention the XAMPP control panel here uh, which allows us to start and stop particular services and um, the services that we've focused on are Apache and MySQL because these are two that we're going to use most frequently. Okay so now this tutorial is basically going to cover how to create your PHP, your first PHP file um, and we're going to do some little bit of output in it, nothing major because we have other tutorials explaining uh, sort of um, output um, and uh, the PHP info function as well. So have a look at the other tutorials and you'll, uh, you'll find some great information on that. Okay so uh, let's go ahead and we need to think about opening up this um, folder here, let me just uh, bring it into view this folder here called XAMPP and this is at C colon backslash XAMPP by default depending on how you installed uh, your XAMPP installation depending on how you ran the installation uh, this might be different but by default it's C colon backslash XAMPP or whatever drive you've installed it to so replace this with your drive number uh, letter sorry okay so in here we've got a few folders you can see uh, some of which are useful to us some of which are not we have our PHP installation folder, which contains all our DLLs, um, php.ini, uh, so let's find that. We've got php.ini here, um, et cetera, et cetera. So um, there's another tutorial on php.ini, so go and check that out. Okay, so um, htdocs is the uh, folder that I want to focus on in this tutorial because we're gonna be creating our first file. Now inside htdocs, at the moment it's a bit of a mess for me, I've got a few files in here, but we want to create our um, PHP file in here. So um, in, let's just open up uh, our browser. So you know now that we access our uh, website from, or our local server from localhost. Now we don't need to do localhost forward slash htdocs forward slash and our file, because htdocs here, um, well no, in here, is where is the root directory, if you like, for where our file should be. So let's go ahead here and I'll create a new text document and I'm gonna call this um, my first file.php. Now in Windows I have uh, extension naming uh, enabled so I can automatically name my extension, but if you can't do it this way, you can see I've got, if you change a file name extension, blah, 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 click yes and that's changed now to a PHP file. Now this C icon you see is my text editor, my default text editor, and my default text editor is context. So um, usually you know, you might have Notepad as your default text editor, but I recommend if you're gonna start learning PHP, download a good, um, a good text editor. I use context, I've always used context and I prefer it. However, some people prefer to use Notepad++ or even just Notepad. And I mean, there are many out there that you can use. Uh, depending on what platform you're in as well, you might be running a Linux system. Uh, so you may have different text av uh, uh, editors available to you. So I've created this file um, like this. Now what you can do is, uh, let's delete that, and let's go over to, um, let's go over to my text editor. So I've got my text editor open here. I'm gonna create a new file, um, and I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna go save as, and I'm in my htdocs uh, folder here. So I'm gonna type my first file.php. And then down here, I'm gonna save as type all files to make sure that the extension's read. Now watch what happens to this just up here, this text files bit here, when I click save. So let's uh, get this into view as well. I'm gonna click save, and you can see that's automatically changed syntax highlighting for my file. So now the PHP extension is applied, we can see that that file's been created there for us. The uh, extension has been applied, and now syntax highlighting has been turned out on. Now syntax highlighting, if you've ever programmed before, you'll know, highlights specific parts of the syntax, so constructors, um, variables, uh, string data, and integers, things like that. Just everything will be highlighted differently um, depending on how your text editor uh, handles that. And you can modify that as well uh, from options menus. But we're not here to talk about that, we're here to talk about the first PHP file. 
Now inside our PHP file, um, let's just actually go to our browser first and try and access this. So we know this is saved in um, c colon backslash xamp and htdocs. So let's go ahead to our browser and type in um, my first file.php. So remember, htdocs is the root folder. So all we need to do is say localhost forward slash my first file.php. We press enter and this file has been loaded in. Now, because it's a PHP extension, you might think that you can't put HTML data in, but we can, in fact, write uh, data into here and just either plain text or HTML, and when we refresh, that's displayed on the page. So you can see now that we're accessing our uh, files like we would on a normal server. And uh, again, you can create folders, directories in here, and, and uh, create things uh, as you wish. So to create the first PHP file, we've done this, and our tags look like this. Um, you'll notice that we have um, a uh, less than sign, um, a question mark, PHP, and then we end on a question mark in here. So that's very similar to how we open up and close HTML. Um, so we open up tags like that and end tags like that. In PHP we do this. But that's not what this tutorial is about. We've created our file, we've accessed it from our, um, from our web server, and now um, you can go onto the tutorials where we talk about um, echoing out data to the user and uh, so on and so forth and you can start your journey learning PHP.